Hello people, I'm the Comic Book Gamer, and today is my 1k Q&A, so thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers, this is awesome, uh, but yeah, before I get into this, big thanks to Mr. Jag, because I would not have gotten to 1k as soon as I did without him, because he helped me install a lot of the mods, and he made a lot of the mods that I use, and he's just been a big help all around, so yeah, big thanks to him, uh, please check out his channel, so yeah, let's get into the questions, I got him right here, let's see, Luke Hare. Three questions. How old are you? What is your real name? What state do you live in? Uh, 16. Uh, what, what's the second one? <laughs> your real name? Uh, Dylan. It's been on Twitter forever, so it's not a secret. And I live in Florida. It's very, very hot. It's been raining a lot lately. It's even raining outside currently. Let's see. The Flinster. How did you get into comics? When I was little, my mom used to take me and my siblings to the library. And there they have these bins of comics, and they had these, uh, they had these beanbags. Well, the, I would take comics, and I would sit on the beanbags, and I would read them. I started when I was little, really little, like five, because, uh, I, that's all I did. I love Superman. I got into Superman. I don't know how I got into Superman, because all my friends were Batman fans, until Justice League came out, and then people were like, I like Flash, I like Hawk Girl, I like Green Lantern. Up until then, it was all Batman fans, because Batman in the animated series was amazing. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how I got into Superman, but that's how I got into comics. I just love Superman, I read all the Superman comics, I read other comics as well. And then that involved into, evolved into much more. Uh, I started reading graphic novels that were there, because I didn't know about graphic novels at first. I just thought you had the single issues, and I was like, <gasps> graphic novels, so I started reading those. And then I found out there's a comic shop near me. And it was like five minutes away, so I started there. Oh, that was a while after I'd been reading comics, though, that I, I finally found out I had a comic shop. I never thought to, to look it up, and I was like, yes! Uh, but that comic shop closed down uh, earlier this year, so that kind of sucks because he retired. But now I have to drive 45 minutes to go to the nearest comic shop, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, that's how I got into comics, was Cheers, through God. the library. It's a great place to get into comics, too, because you can read a bunch of free comics. Let's see. Brian Leong. Sorry if I screwed up your name. Uh, do you think that we can visit Arkham Asylum in Batman Arkham Knight? Y to a certain extent, yes. I think that, uh, I think that you'll be able to roam around Arkham Asylum Island, well, Arkham Island. I think that you'll be able to roam around Arkham Island. I don't think you'll really be able to go into the buildings, like maybe a couple rooms or like a small area in the building. I do think we'll get a DLC dedicated to Arkham Asylum. I really hope we do. Or a side mission. I think we're gonna get a DLC or a side mission. I prefer a DLC because then it would be that is the main part of the story to our side mission. It's side from the main story. It still could be big, but nothing that gigantic. Uh, to where a DLC would work perfectly, in my opinion. I'd love it. Imagine being Nightwing going through Arkham Asylum. That'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's just gonna be free roamable, as in you can go around Arkham Island but not do a whole lot. Maybe have some Riddler trophies here and there. That'd be cool. So, yeah, the, I think we, it will be free roamable, but to a certain extent. You won't be able to go through all of the buildings like you could in the game in Arkham Asylum. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, Trevor Long, would you ever consider playing games with fans? Yes, yes, yes. I'd love to. Um, how we could do this is, because I do play on PC, but a way to sidestep this is... Battlefront 2 is a game I'd love to play with you guys, and it's only 10 bucks, and any PC can run it as long as you don't have like a 12 year old PC, you can run it. It's such an old game, it's super easy to run, and it's only 10 bucks, so that's a bright side fun game that anyone can run, and is cheap, so that'd be a ton of fun to play with you guys. Uh, so yeah, the servers were taken down, but Game Ranger, which is a service that saved it, it, you don't have to pay nothing or anything to play on it. But yeah, they saved it so you can play on the server still, and it'd be a ton of fun to get a bunch of us and just go and play on like Indoor or Hoth. It'd be so much fun. Because a lot of the times when the servers were up, it was just AI. So yeah, it'd be a ton of fun to do that. I'd love to do that. Let's see. Ian Davis, why did you want to make YouTube videos? A two parts, sort of. Well, mainly one thing. Uh, I was inspired by Nightwing 01, aka Luke K-Wing, which a lot of you guys probably know, uh, because my channel is somewhat like his, because he inspired me to do what I do. Um, he talked about Batman, and I was like, that's cool, I want to do that, except for characters that aren't being talked about, such as Deathstroke. 
and, and I did that. I wanted to discuss it with other people and get into these like big discussions and stuff. And, it, and I've done that. And it's been a ton of fun, and that's why I wanted to do it because I wanted to talk about these characters that no one's talking about. That's why you don't see me talking about Batman a whole lot because you can go to like 13 other channels on YouTube to see people talk about Batman. As far as I know, you can only go to one channel, which is mine, to see people talk about Deathstroke. Well, see a person talk about Deathstroke. Uh, because other people do videos on Deathstroke, but that's only when it's like, a pr only when like, hey, Arkham Origins come out, let's talk about Deathstroke, because he's in it. And that's like it, to where I talk about Deathstroke regularly. I know it's slowed down lately, but that's because uh, we haven't really had a whole lot of new stuff, but the new comic book series is coming out, so Deathstroke's going to pick up. Plus, I already have two topics that are not related to the comic series that I'm going to be doing soon. So yeah, I can't wait for that. The comic series is going to be, it looks so good. Hopefully it's awesome. So yeah, basically, I just want I want to start because I wanted to talk about more obscure characters, or even like Superman's not obscure, but no one talks about him on YouTube. Like Angry Joe, he'll talk about him every now and again. He brings him up, but he doesn't really talk about him. Uh, so yeah, people like just people who aren't really talked about. I wanted to talk about characters I love that aren't really talked about, like Jonah Hex up there. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I just and I wanted to talk about it with you guys. That's why when I do a video, I generally end it with a question because I want to see what are your guys' thoughts. I just did a whole video giving you guys my thoughts. What are your thoughts on this subject? Uh, so yeah, that's why I started YouTube. Let's go to the next comment. Let's see. Trevor Long again. Have you ever considered doing longer videos, like 30 minutes plus videos? Yes, I've considered maybe doing like a 30 to 45 minute podcast and then just putting random gameplay in the background, sort of like this video. <laughs> Except, yeah, like just doing a podcast, just talking about a couple different subjects for like 30 45 minutes and putting random gameplay in the background and then just posting it to YouTube. The only problem with this is it takes forever to upload to YouTube. It takes me forever. Like for a 10 minute video, it's over it's a over an hour and a half but that's because my file sizes are so big uh, so maybe I would love to but maybe the problem is but I could set it up when I like go to work or when I'm at school I could set it up so just so that way it just uploads while I'm doing other crap Let's see. Gerald Wilson what's your most prized comic book oh, this right here Deathstroke's first appearance signed Signed by George Perez, right there. That's his. That's his signature. I'll try to get it without the glare. Right there, and then there's Deathstroke in the background. There's Grant Wilson for all you who don't know, and yeah. <laughs> I want to meet. I want to meet Marv Wolfman to get him to sign it. Uh, George Perez. I met him at Tampa Bay Comic Con. He was awesome. He's a really cool guy. He's nice, uh, and I got him to sign it. Didn't cost nothing. It was. It was awesome. And this is my most prized comic and my most valuable comic as well because it's Deathstroke's first appearance. I got it when it was cheap though because I got it before he was in Arrow, before he was in Injustice, before he was in Arkham Origins. The only things he has been in was Teen Titans and DC vs. Mortal Kombat. That was all he was in media-wise. So he was not very well known because a lot of people think that Slade is uh, and Deathstroke are two different people. Like not very many people even know that they're the same person. So that's another reason. And I got it for pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, I think I got it for like 60 bucks. Yeah, and it's, it's awesome. And I got signed by George Perez, which makes the price go up even higher. And I want to meet Marvel, but I'll never sell this thing. I'm never gonna sell it. <laughs> it's it's just it's awesome. Uh, let's see. Next question. This is the last question. Scarlet Spider, can you please add me on Steam? Yes, but I'm just gonna put my Steam in the description below. So if you want to add me, add me. This is how we'd have to play games, anyways. If we did do like I was talking about earlier and play Battlefront. Then we'd have to do it like that. I have to add you on Steam so that way we could talk and set everything up. I'm not guaranteeing we'll talk all the time or anything like that. Uh, if you guys add me on Steam, but it's there. The link's there if you guys want to add me on Steam. So yeah, that's the end. Uh, let's talk about what's going to be coming up on the channel. Like I said, I already have two subjects planned. Two for um, Deathstroke free roam videos. I'm going to be doing, and they have nothing to do with the comic books. Actually, one of them does. One of them does have something to do. Actually, that's like three. Three that I know of. 
uh, subjects for Deathstroke, and then I'll come uh, up with more, obviously. But that's all I have planned uh, right now is three Deathstroke videos. So you. one's gonna be coming out soon, then one the week after, then one the week after that. Uh, Disney Infinity October second is when the Marvel stuff comes to the PC version. I believe it's October second, so I'm probably gonna be doing that. That's like Lego Marvel except no Legos, so it, it looks like a ton of fun. Lego Batman three definitely gonna be playing that in, uh, in November. And exactly October, I may play some scary games. Alien Isolation looks amazing. I'm generally not a fan of scary games. I, I just get freaked out when I play them, but Alien Isolation looks like a ton of fun. And so I might get that and play that. I'll probably get it, but I don't know if I'll post it. So, let's see. Anything else? I might do some LEGO Batman 2 free roam videos leading up to LEGO Batman 3 so that I can get back into the groove of LEGO games uh, in the LEGO Batman series. So, yeah trying to think if there's anything else. I'm going to be covering the Deathstroke issues, the new Tony Daniel series. I'm going to be covering that every issue, and that's going to give us a bunch more stuff to talk about for Deathstroke, so I'm really excited for that. And yeah, that's, as far as I know, that's all I'm going to be doing, besides like, you know, the normal mod videos and just whatever topic videos I think of. That's all that I have planned right now, but tomorrow I'll probably think of something else that'll be posted. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.